I'm Veronica Wasek, founder of 5 Minute Bookkeeping, and I help Shopify sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems. Whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you bookkeeping and integrations. Did you know that Shopify is now charging for sales tax calculations? In this video, I'll go over what you need to know about the Shopify tax service, its fees, and whether it's a good fit for you. So what is Shopify tax? It allows you to set up automatic sales tax collection in Shopify. You must first set it up for each state where you have physical or economic nexus in the United States. Now, if you don't know what nexus is, I've linked some videos for you up here as well in the description below. Shopify tax was free through January 15th of 2023. And according to Shopify, everyone was automatically upgraded to Shopify tax. After January 15th, Shopify merchants using Shopify tax will be subject to fees. So what are the fees for Shopify tax? Fees apply only to U.S. online orders, not point of sale orders. Shopify tax is free for up to $100,000 of U.S. sales each calendar year. And after $100,000 of U.S. sales, the fees are 0.35% or 0.25% for Shopify Plus merchants. And you will only be charged for sales in a state where you have enabled sales tax collection. The fee is capped at $0.99 cents per transaction and $5,000 per year. Let's take a look at an example provided by Shopify on their website. You're a merchant who sells a $30 t-shirt in a state where you collect sales tax. You'll be charged a transaction fee of $0.10, cents, but if you use PLUS, you'll be charged $0.08. Cents. In another example, you're a merchant who sells a $20,000 rug in a state where you collect sales tax. You'll be charged a transaction fee of $0.99 cents because of the cap. Any fees for Shopify tax will be reflected on your Shopify subscription invoice and the fee is calculated based on the total transaction amount, including taxes and shipping. Should you use Shopify tax? Yes, you should if you're not using a third-party service to manage your sales tax. If you're concerned about sales taxes, if you're not working with a sales tax professional, and if you want a higher degree of accuracy and more automation. You should not use Shopify tax if you're using a third-party service to manage sales taxes, or if you're working with a sales tax professional who is using something other than Shopify tax to make your sales tax calculations. Let me know in the comments if you're using Shopify tax and what you think about it. I'm Veronica Wasek. Are you ready to work with an experienced and reliable Shopify accounting pro? Then check the description below to learn more about my services and how we might work together. If this content is helping you, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. And check the description below for all of my resources, including my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint and the link to join my Facebook community. I'll see you next time.